besides the businesses that you know that you featured, Gary. I mean, we talked about Tom Wolf. There was Jeff Kuzat, the mayor of Hazleton. You know, John Longstreet, Joseph Letch, a corner pharmacist. Um, all all different people that came you know in and out of this book that had different stories to tell. Um, just I have two questions for you just to, to wrap things up. So, you, what I saw during COVID was. Um, my clients were mostly B2B. You know, we have about 600 clients in my firm and um, they are, and they're mostly in the mid-Atlantic area at family owned businesses, you know, you know, industrial parks, you know, corporate centers, you know, that kind of thing. A great many of them did great during COVID. You know, I mean, they were, it was like some of their best years ever. They, they sold online. Maybe they were shut down for a little bit. A lot of them finagled their way into the essential business, you know, definition and were never questioned about it. And, um, and they carried on and there were a lot of businesses that really did well. So, you know, I, I'm wondering, um, you know, is that another book, you know, I mean, you know, where, cause you talked about businesses that were really hit with challenges and pivoted and survived, but there, I believe there's, there's a whole other population, a demographic of small businesses that prospered during COVID. And I'm, I'm wondering if, if you gave any thoughts or writing about them. I, I, I did not. I, I guess I, I read about underdogs. I, I like folks that are kind of hit hard and have to over uh, come, but I, 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 I do agree with you. I mean, maybe this is a part of the untold story is that some some businesses really profited. I mean, yeah. I, I don't mean because they sold, you know, kind of COVID tests. No, I, no. I mean that you know they they you know PPP kind of helped pay their payroll. Yep. Uh, while while they were fully operational, um, and you know, in fact, the, the, I found Cusimanos through this woman. She she's uh, active in the National Federation of Independent Businesses. You know, in Northeastern Pennsylvania. And I was kind of doing my auditions, like, well, this business makes sense. And I realized I talked to her, this pool supply company. Oh, and I realized, right. I realized talking to her, like, she had her best year in yep. She's been her business has been around 20, 30 years, I forget. It was her best year ever, by far. I mean, by far. And so, but fortunately, she said, oh, but I do have a Italian restaurant I love in Old Forge, Pennsylvania. And that's how I got these models. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I mean, they're, you know, contractors, people in the construction business, home repair business, they were crushing it. Uh, cause people were stuck at home and that's what they were doing. And then of course, realtors, cause people were buying homes. Uh, and then of course there was, uh, you know, anybody involved in e-commerce and some restaurants really, at least in the city, like where I'm in Philly, uh, you know, I've talked to, you know, restaurant owners around here that said like, we're, we're going to cut down our lease and just do more takeout because it's just more profitable for us. We don't have to worry about employees and people walked away, um, you know, with some good lessons.